Welcome to Allegro Microsystems Philippines Incorporated, or AMPI. The company is located on a 10,000 square meter parcel of land in Paranaque, about 15 kilometers from the city of Manila. AMPI specializes in the assembly and test of advanced mixed signal, analog and digital semiconductor devices. It has over 24 years of semiconductor and extensive merged technologies experience and world-class resources in process technology, quality control, assembly, and testing. The company's reputation for quality is attested to by the ISO 9002 and QS 9000 certifications that it earned in 1994 and 1997, respectively. These are aside from other quality recognition from organizations worldwide. AMPI's commitment to quality is summarized in its quality policy which says, total quality equals continuous improvement. It sustains the drive for continuous improvement through the QoS process and the cross-functional module teams. AMPI assembles and tests PDIPs SOICs, Hall Sensors in SIPs, and SOHEDs. It also tests PLCCs and SOICs, which are assembled by Allegro subcontractors. Before any process is done, incoming inspection and qualification of all direct materials and critical factory supplies is conducted by incoming quality assurance. The materials include wafers from the Allegro wafer fabs and lead frames, gold wire, and other direct materials from various suppliers. Materials that meet the specs are kept in environmentally controlled storage areas and are later released for processing based on production schedules. The assembly line can be divided into two distinct areas, the front of line, or FOL, and the end of line, or EOL. The front of line area is a class 10,000 clean room. Strict controls are employed to ensure that this condition is maintained at all times. The controls include facilities such as interlock entrance and exit system, dust count monitoring, utilization of clean room suits, raised flooring, HEPA filters, and frequent air changes. The first assembly operation is wafer sawing, which begins with mounting the wafer on a metal carrier with adhesive tape. The wafers are then sawn with a dicing machine. Wafer cleaning follows to eliminate silicon residues. All critical characteristics of every operation in AMPI, as identified in the control plan, are monitored. Line controls such as SPC and yield monitoring are in place to check process performance, to take necessary action, to correct any problem, and most importantly, to prevent recurrence. Sawn wafers are endorsed to second optical station for 100% inspection using a high power microscope at a minimum 75 times magnification. Reject units based on 802107 specification are marked with ink so that they will not be picked up by the die attach machine. Sampling gate acceptance is conducted before the wafers are moved to the die attach operation. The die attach operation is where each electrically and visually good die is picked from the wafer and mounted with conductive epoxy on lead frames. The attached units are cured inside an oven. All curing ovens in AMPI are equipped with sensors that automatically shuts off the entire system and sends an alarm whenever any deviation from standard settings is encountered. Furthermore, Oven doors have interlocks that ensure that in no time can an oven loaded with units be opened accidentally. 
the lock releases itself automatically when the curing cycle is completed. Die shear testing is done before the units are moved to the wire bonding operation. The ultrasonic wire bond process electrically connects the die and the lead frame. Bonds are formed using 99.99% pure gold wires. Ball shear, wire pull, and bond cratering tests are conducted to ensure the integrity of the wire bonds. 100% third optical inspection is done on inspection machines with stereo zoom microscopes at 30 times magnification. The wires of rejected units are destroyed and leads are properly marked. The reject units are subsequently destroyed at the mold station and taken out at the final visual inspection. The units are then transported to the EOL stations using a pass-through elevator box. The EOL area has controlled environment. As in the FOL, controls are in place to maintain cleanliness, humidity, and temperature of the area. The first EOL station is cut down. The cut down process removes the top rail that holds the units and serves as alignment guide while undergoing the FOL processes. After the top rails are removed, units are ready for mold. It is a process by which wire bonded units are encapsulated using an epoxy based molding compound. The compound protects the unit from mechanical and environmental damage. The lead frame strips are placed on mold loading trays by an automatic frame loader. UA devices are molded on a conventional mold machine. The units are then cured for five hours in the post-mold cure ovens. The mold process leaves flashes on top and between leads. To remove them, two methods of deflashing are done, chemical and media. For chemical deflash, the units are soaked in bright dip solution, which is a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid. On the other hand, Media deflash uses coarse to fine plastic particles. Deflash machines blows the media to the units to break adhesion of flashes on the lead frames. Lead support or dam bars are removed by shearing them with punches in the next process called trim. The dam bars are the connectors that keep the units intact in the lead frame during the initial processes. The succeeding operation is called lead finish. It involves the application of metallic coating on lead frames. In AMPI, the coating is achieved through a strip-to-strip -strip electroplating process, which deposits a thin layer of 9010 tin lead alloy on the lead frame surface. It utilizes a plating machine that includes pretreatment, plating, and post-plate operations. After plating, the units are subjected to 100% fourth optical inspection. Rejects based on spec 802155 and units marked with scratches for rejections incurred during the FOL process are removed during this final visual inspection. The last and final assembly step is the simulation process. The bottom rail which holds the units together while they are undergoing the EOL processes are removed during this process. The singulated units are contained in trays and are eventually transferred to the test area for testing, branding, and final packing. Test process begins at the temperature cycle station. Here, units undergo eight cycles of hot and cold temperature cycles. Each cycle normally takes about one hour for devices covered by the military standard. That is, 30 minutes for hot and an additional 30 minutes for cold. Units that have passed the temperature cycle test would then undergo the ambient test, wherein the units are placed in a room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius to test their electrical and magnetic parameters. The next stage of the process will be the hot test.
In this station, all units will be subjected to either 85, 125, 150, or 170 degrees Celsius temperature. After the hot test, the good units will undergo delta test. This involves subjecting the units to either room and then hot temperature or room and then cold temperature. The cold test will then follow. The units will be tested at negative 40 degrees Celsius or at negative 20 degrees Celsius. The units are then branded for identification. After branding, the lot is subjected to a production toll gate using the sampling plan of 0.040% AQL C equals zero. Depending on customer requirements, the units can be taped and reeled or packed inside an anti-static bag. The final test process is that of check inspection, or CI, which conducts mechanical and electrical sampling inspection. After CI, the units are packed inside corrugated cartons by the shipping department. These are then transported to respective customer destinations by qualified forwarders of AMP. Thank you.